morning, everybody. It is just nine o'clock in the morning and I'm out for my walk. Um, longer walk. <laughs> not, well, not longer, shorter walk, I meant. Um, because, turns out the weather channel was wrong about what the weather was supposed to be like down here. We were, the beginning of the summer, they said it's supposed to be um, cooler than normal, you know, not too hot. And um, God decided that was to play a mean joke on us and he cranked up the heat. So it's very hot <laughs> and humid and just miserable. And what are you gonna do about it? So, um, I was taking longer walks, but it seems so hot and humid even in the early morning. That I'm just taking a shorter walk. It's nice, I mean, I get out of the house for like a half an hour, an hour. I'm pretty sure you guys are getting tired of seeing the same background over and over again. Me walking down a side street, looking like an idiot with my camera out, with my phone. But, um, oh yeah, just another morning walk. Still no news on the job front. Well, actually there is news. Um, already told you guys I got rejected by Kohl's. Two minutes after I sent in the application. <laughs> yeah, not that simple about it. Um, I had also applied for um, a position at Yonkers. I've actually applied for two positions at Yonkers. And I heard back on one of them. And it was a, you don't fit. And the position I was going for was jewelry, fine jewelry. I mean, just because I'm limited in what medals I can wear, doesn't mean I don't like jewelry. And I know a lot about fashion because it's one of my hobbies, is the fashion industry and creating new styles of fashion. I can't sew, but I'm really good with coming up with looks and stuff. So, and it's a hobby and I really like fashion. Dang it, um, mosquitoes. So I'm kind of upset I didn't get that job. And the silly thing is that I've actually done fine jewelry at Yonkers before. Um, when I worked there in 2015, I helped out in the accessories department, which included fine jewelry. So I did work in that area and I did pretty good when I filled in, but I guess they just want someone Alex and I will totally agree that my looks are not the first thing you think of when you think of fine jewelry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I seriously look like a little farm girl, which is true. I really am just this farm girl pretending to be a city girl. I am so totally a farm girl. It's not even funny. <laughs> like I want to have a garden. I want to have animals. You know, I read this thing called home, modern home studying. I think that sounds awesome. So. I miss living out in the country. That was like the best 13 years of my life was living out there. That's why I liked going up to Marquette for school and spending those three weeks on the island, even though my job sucked. Um, and my roommates were horrible. It was because I really enjoyed that small town, backwards country feeling, and I miss it, you know? I mean, Mackinac was awesome, so. I feel like if I could get a year-round job up there and I would pay well, I probably would move up to Mackinac Island to live. Just because I had so much fun. And another one of my hobbies is photography. And by photography, I mean I take pictures with my cell phone. <laughs> um, and I really liked it. So I kind of miss it up there. So maybe one day, who knows. But um, other than that, no real news. I applied for what I think would be an awesome job, a merchandising job. And it's a perfect job for me because you'd work eight to six, but there's no guarantee. And I would have weekends and holidays off. Um, and I could pick and choose what jobs I want to do. So everything would be done pretty much online. Um, and I could only take, I could take jobs just in Midland if I wanted to, um, which would be awesome. 
So, um, so I really hope I get this merchandising job because I think that would be so cool and I actually like it. You know, part of merchandising being very detail-oriented, I am very detail-oriented. It is insane. <laughs> Most people don't know that by looking at me, but I am super fussy when it comes to details. So, I like having everything pretty much planned out. Like, I think that's what drove my dad and Michelle crazy when we went to Michigan Adventures. I was sitting there. Sorry. I was sitting there at the park and I was literally putting out, okay, we're gonna do this, this, and this next. Because I needed to have it down. I needed to have a plan. So that's why I think merchandising would be a great job for me. And honestly, when I was at Staples and Claire's and stuff, and everybody was complaining about the planograms, I like the planograms. They're like a giant jigsaw puzzle, and I love puzzles. <laughs> so for me, I love doing things like planograms and stuff like that. I didn't get to do a lot of them, but I thought they were so much fun. So I am really, 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 really hoping I get this merchandising job. Um, I don't think I will, but I can hope. And it'd be really awesome if I could get it before Star Wars night at Balloons. Because then I could have some money to take to the game. So I could get like treats and stuff. Um, I really need a job by the end of August. So I need to have a job by the end of August. Because that's when Force Fridays returns. That's when um, Rebels is coming out. That's when they're going to pretty much be launching everything for The Last Jedi. So I need to have a job by then. Because I know I will start getting Star Wars stuff. So that will be my treat. Like once a month I'm going to get myself something Star Wars. <laughs> that will be my treat. <laughs> like this month I'm probably going to spend the last of my money to get the new Battlefront book. That's how bad I am. And then if I get a job next month it will be the Rebel Season 3 Blu-ray, and then in September it will be the Captain Phasma and Princess Leia books. <laughs> see? Detail-oriented. Like when we go see The Last Jedi, I will plan everything out from what I will wear, to what time we'll go see the movie, to how we will get there, to everything. Just to go see Star Wars. Yeah, I'm only a little bit bonkers. Just a little bit. No, I'm a lot bonkers. <laughs> I'm insanely bonkers and everybody in my family knows it because they're great shame. I'm my family's Qui-Gon. <laughs> no, I'm more like Anakin in my family. I'm the rebel. I like being the rebel. The rebel's fun. But yeah, so keep me in your thoughts and prayers think positive thoughts and hopefully in the next few vlogs I will be announcing that I have a job which will be awesome because then I can become a subscriber to Old Republic and I can start buying my own groceries and I can start going out and doing fun things again I can start treating myself so Yay! Job, must have job. Oh, it just sucks living in this one sometimes. Because usually the only place that's hiring is out, and they only hire skilled workers. So, it does suck. It really does suck sometimes. Especially since my brother and I discovered that right now it really feels like nobody in Midland is actually hiring. They're posting the jobs, they're taking applications, but what they're really doing is just padding their um, potential hires. <laughs> um, Midland is the kind of place where you get a job and you stay in that job for a long time. You know, I'm kind of an outsider in that two years I had three jobs, so four, three years I had four jobs. Um, 
But that's also because I feel like in Midland they have a certain expectation, a certain way they want you to look. Like I went to Yonkers and that's pretty much like people from now. So they expect you to look very professional, like you belong in their world, the corporate business world. I obviously do not look like that. Um, Claire's, they want you to look very teen and trendy and I can look very teen, but my trends are not really that trendy because I have my own unique style. Um, which most of the time I'm either really, really girly, really, really tomboy, a combination of tomboy and girly, or I try to go for a vintage 50s look, which is my favorite era of fashion is the 50s. Um, so that can be hard. So I didn't fit in at Claire's and I kind of fit in at Staples, which is one of the reasons why I want to go back. Um, because I looked like I worked at Staples. Um, problem there is that they called me Katie, and I'm trying to get people to call me by my real name, which is hard. Because um, unless I get them to start calling me Caitlin when they hire me, they don't. I mean, my at the, I told you guys, up at Mackinac, the hotel, they called me, the one guy called me Shanae because he thought my real name was just too weird. I'm like, what is weird about Caitlin? Um, and then of course a couple months ago, I, like a few weeks ago, I read an article about how because of Caitlyn Jenner, the name Caitlyn has actually become kind of unpopular. So I'm like, really? Thank you for ruining my name. Well, I still like my name, but <laughs> I think it's totally unfair that she picks Caitlyn. Couldn't she have gone with Katie, you know? Make it nice for the Caitlins. Um, but yeah, so uh, for some odd reason, people hear my name and I tell them how they spell it, spelled, and they just think it's really weird. So they don't want to call me Caitlin. I mean, that just seems stupid to me. It's my name, and my parents picked that name, and I'm very proud of that name. You know, I'm proud. Sometimes it's a burden, but I am very proud of having the name Caitlin. It's very important to me, my name. Um, but yeah, I'm out of breath. But, um, oh, by the way, thank you for those who have commented on my videos. I'm sorry they are so horrible. I am not making any progress in getting better at these. Um, to the one guy, I think it's KTV. I am going to check out your channel and I promise I will give you my feedback. Um, apparently I'm really good at giving feedback. I'm also good at making the videos myself. Um, but yeah, in the news. So, um, this is so weird. On Al Jazeera, yes, I'm one of those who watches Al Jazeera. I actually like it. Um, weird for me to say, living in conservative Midland, that I watch Al Jazeera. Um, they talk about there this, there's this new summer camp. It costs like $2,600, and teens go there and learn how to become a famous social media star. I'm like, um... That's dumb. <laughs> so, um, I don't understand the point of that. And then, um, oh, Trump Care is dead. Yay. I'm happy. Um, I know all of you who support Trump are going, why are you happy? Well, because I probably would have been one of the millions who went without insurance. My mom, who desperately needs health insurance, um, probably would have been the one of the ones. <gasps> Cold sparklers who probably would have lost her health insurance and my mom really needs her health insurance because um ever since her gallbladder surgery in december which is one of the reasons i'm glad i'm home now um she's been having issues and now come to find out my mom has a celiac celiac allergy what that basically means is my mom has to go gluten free which is another reason I really want this job because my mom can't have regular bread or anything like that. Well, gluten-free bread is like $8 for a loaf. So I want to help out with that. You know, get my mom healthy. She can't have like any added additives to her food. So she has to have like mainly an organic diet, which she was trying to do for the most part anyway with my brother and I. So, cause Eating organic, eating as organically as we can helps Aaron and I, but 
it's hard. So I'm glad Trump Care is dead because without it, I don't know. I'm not so much worried as for, as myself, but I don't know what would happen to my mom because my mom has all these medications she needs to take and stuff. So I'm glad it's dead. Um, though I do have to find this ironic. It's made in America week, so yay, which I understand why we should celebrate it. I like getting things that are made in America. Um, but I'm also a Mr. Gainer, so I know there's a lot of stuff that it's easier to make overseas and stuff, but I'm glad to have like this thing to celebrate made in America, but our president is a businessman. His family are business people. And it's no secret that when you look at the Trump family products, they're all made overseas. His ties, her shoes, everything, they're made in like China, places like that. And then, which made me laugh when I saw this post um, on Twitter, which I do not follow him on Twitter. I have Twitter, which I use like maybe once or twice a week, um, but mainly for Star Wars stuff. Um, but it's very funny for me. I saw this tweet he did for Made in America Week, and it was hashtag Made in America, um, and it said, businesses who build stuff overseas and then sell it here in the U.S. are losers. And I'm not sure. That's exact. That's not exactly what it said, but that's what it said. I saw that and I went, oh my gosh, President Trump just called himself a loser. Because he's one of those losers who has stuff made overseas, shipped here, and sells them. And I'm sorry for any of you guys, people who support Trump. But again, I think as a Michiganer, I have a unique perspective. I know we Michiganers, well, I didn't vote for him, but a lot of my fellow Michiganers voted for him. But the truth is, is a lot of us are now regretting that. <laughs> um, we tried this whole thing with a businessman running our government. Um, our current governor is Rick Snyder, and he's a businessman. And his thing was, run a man, was if we, he could fix Michigan by running it more along business lines. Make our schools better, do everything better. And within a year, our state was completely, pretty much gone. And we elected him a second time because he was a returning candidate. He had been the governor, and that puts the odds in his favor. So we can't run again. So <laughs> if you really want to get a good idea of what Trump could probably do for America, you might want to look at what's going on in Michigan. Because <laughs> a lot of the advances we've done and stuff, a lot of that is people, regular people and millionaires pushing it, not our government. In fact... Because of Flint and the water, our government's kind of in trouble. <laughs> so it, it, it just makes me, it makes me wish that I was like, wow, everything really sucks. <laughs> and it's horrible. I remember um, Pastor Kurt, right before the election, he gave a sermon to us about um, our loyalty to the government. <laughs> At the same time, he told us, he read us a passage from Daniel about the golden idol. The king made himself a golden idol. And my mom was taking notes. And she immediately writes down, golden idol equals Trump. So, for those of you out there who think Christians, a lot of all Christians support Trump. Um, hi. I am a conservative Lutheran, moderate conservative Lutheran. And I have not supported Trump at all. I call him president. I ask God to bless him. But I also ask God to grant him wisdom. Um, and maybe if I pray enough, God will give him wisdom. But um, for the record, especially, I feel like I should say this, especially after Trump tweeted out that picture of all these people, all these religious leaders in the Oval Office laying their hands on him, that not all Christians support Trump. So I am one of those who, who do not. And I'm, I'm proud to say that. I don't care if people get mad at me. I don't support Trump. I don't like him. Um, I love him. Because that's what God wants me to do is to love everybody. So I love him. But I don't have to like him. And I pray that God protects him and gives him wisdom and strength. Because he is our leader. Until the day he is no longer our leader. I 
we'll keep praying for him because he needs the help. And God helps everyone, so hopefully God will help him. <laughs> See, this is why I'm weird. This is why I don't really talk about politics. It's because I have such a weird view of politics. And part of that is my family, how I was raised. <laughs> you know, I grew up very much immersed in the monarchy of Britain and stuff like that. So for me, I'm just starting to... I study American politics and I just think there's something wrong. So, I mean, I said it after the election when President Trump won that I don't feel like my voice was heard. I'm one of those forgotten Americans he talked about in his um, inauguration speech, but I don't feel like my voice got heard. I don't feel like the voices of my family got heard. So. I just think there's something wrong, but until then, I will respect him, I will pray for him, and he is our president, and I have to respect the office, so we'll do my best to do that, but yeah. I just wish I could get these videos out there just once so I could let everybody in the world know that just because our president is like this, just because we have people who think like him and do some horrible things, not everyone in the States is like that, because I'm not like that. So not everyone in the States thinks like him or acts like him. And I really wish I could let the rest of the world know that for an average American like me, um, we are not the same. That's just what the new words, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I will post this tomorrow. I hope everyone likes it, and I apologize for being such a Debbie Downer at the end. Trust me, I would rather be Pollyanna than Debbie Downer, so. I'm gonna get going. Lots of love, hugs, and prayers. I love you lots, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hi guys, surprise, something extra. I cannot wait to tell you guys this. Um, so earlier I was talking to you guys about how I applied for this merchandise for a job with this merchandising company. And um, I was really hoping I would get it because it was so flexible and it would just fit better with me and my lifestyle and stuff like that. And I come home and I turn on my Kindle and I'm reading and then I say, oh, email, so I'm flipping through my email. I have an email from this merchandising company offering me a part-time job. I cannot believe that. So, um, I took it out to my mom and my mom was nervous. So we did the research and we found the address. And the funny thing is, is the address listed for this position. It's actually at the Staples where I used to work. <laughs> so I'm going to be working, going to be doing these jobs at Staples. And it's so funny because I actually used to work there. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's one of the reasons why they offered me this job is because I actually used to work at the Staples. So I know the management and stuff. So <laughs> so my mom's like, let's look up this thing. So I looked it up and it's a 1517 Joe Man Boulevard. And my mom and I are like, we don't know what that is. I mean, for most of the places in Milan, we really don't know the address. It's like, you know where the 555 building is. You know where the courthouse is. You know where Myers, Walmart. We don't really think about it in terms of the actual addresses. So I looked it up um, and it's actually the Staples. <laughs> in Milan. My mom and I burst out laughing. My mom's like, take it. So. I have some paperwork to fill out. I am so excited. I have a job offer and it's $10 an hour and, and the work will not always be constant. Um, I might go weeks without a job. I might, without working, I might have like go in like every other day or every day. But I don't care. This is like the first official job offer I've had. I haven't even had an interview. So I'm really excited that I, I am getting the chance to fill out this paperwork and get the ball rolling on this and see what I need to do. I cannot wait. So thank you guys. I'm so excited for myself. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I have a job offer. So I can't wait to see where this goes. And hopefully I really would love to tear it. If this works out great for me, maybe my career is in merchandising, which if it is, that would be so awesome. <laughs> so 
I'm gonna go, I think we're gonna, my mom's getting some cupcakes around for work, and I think we're gonna go to the library, which means I should probably get changed. <laughs> I am so excited! I got a job offer, so, um, I'm letting my hopes get up high. There's no guarantee that this job will come all the way through, but I can hope, and I'm so excited, and I really, 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 really hope it works out. So, keep me in your thoughts, keep me in your prayers, keep sending positive thoughts my way, and maybe this job will be awesome, so. Once again, I love you guys. Bye!